The first thing we're going to learn about today is activating your Ring Central extension. So you guys may or may not have received an email just yet from Ring Central to activate, um, but you will eventually get them. Typically, they come are sent out sometime after this training. Consider this proactive training for what to expect when it comes to those emails. Okay, those emails will come from support at ringcentral.com, as you can see here. And when you get the email, it'll show you a main company number and extension number and the option to set up your account. Uh, just food for thought, um, the phone number, um, if it does look a little bit unusual, um, it is typically normal. It means that you guys may be porting in numbers and that just may be a temporary. Again, if you see something unusual when it comes to the numbers, don't worry about it. Usually admins are well aware of it, okay? All you need to worry about is clicking set up that account and which will open up a browser window and that browser window will ask you to start creating some security credentials for your account, okay? So with Ring Central, you guys are gonna be signing in to the platform, typically using your email address and your password. Um, and to actually sign into the platform, we obviously need to create that password, and this is what that activation is gonna allow us to do. So we're gonna choose a password, and very much if you're used to iTunes or Gmail or things like that, creating accounts of that sort, this should be pretty easy for you as well. So you'll go ahead and create a password if you're choosing. Um, as you start typing, criteria will pop up um, in regards to the prerequisites, security prerequisites for that password. Just make sure you meet them and simply pop it in a second time. Once you've created that password, you can then proceed to create your PIN. The PIN is only gonna be used in one situation and one situation only, and that is to check your voicemail on your physical phone. Okay, so we're gonna be going over the physical phone today that you guys are operating with. And if you want to check your voicemail via that method, via that physical phone, um, it will ask you for your PIN. Um, afterwards, it'll read out your voicemails. Again, it's not the only option available to you. We'll be able to check your voicemails exclusively on the desktop application or mobile application without the need for a PIN at all. Okay. Lastly is your security question and answer. So in the event of uh, an emergency where you forgot your password, you do not need to track down an administrator, you can simply reset it yourself. So um, whether you're in the service portal or in the app, there is an option where you say forgot password, and very much like iTunes allows you to reset your own password, you can do the same thing here. Um, it presents you with a question, and as long as you can answer that question, um, it will allow you to reset your password right then and there. Okay, so from this drop-down menu, you'll have one of many questions to uh, choose from, one of them, for example, says, what was your high school mascot, right? And for me, that would be Bulldog. But one thing to note with the security answer, it is case sensitive, okay? So it doesn't have as much criteria as the PIN or the password. It only needs to be five more characters, but if I answer it with a capital B for Bulldog, it will expect that capital B. Okay. Beyond that, we're gonna be um, verifying your user information. So we're gonna be verifying your first name, we're gonna be verifying your last name, your work email address, so make sure everything is spelled correctly. Beyond that, it's gonna ask you to go over your call handling. So your call handling will be separated into two pieces. Actual call handling, which will be uh, forwarding calls to other phones. We're gonna discuss that in depth in the service portal. You can actually skip that step um, in that activation. Um, the other aspect of call handling is actually setting up your voicemail. So it will ask you if you'd like to customize your voicemail right then and there, or would you like to choose the default for your voicemail? English. Do you want to record your voicemail right here now, or do you prefer Ring Central to give you a just a, a basic, you know, message that is played on your behalf? to your customers that are led to your voicemail. And regardless of the option that you choose, I can show you how to go back in and change that if needed. And we'll certainly go over that once we get to the service portal. 